Hey everybody, this is Red X Rain here with another episode of Let's Play Wario Land for the Game Boy. So last time we finished up uh, Zone 1 or World 1, whatever you want to call it, Rice Beach, but we're going to come back as, as you may have noticed, there's a little more water on the beach here in the overworld screen, and if we go to course number 3, you'll notice that there's a lot more water here. So this is just the first example of a level that changes after some uh, event, which then causes you to replay it, and there goes my freaking power. Uh, but yeah, so certain levels you have to replay to get uh, to find hidden treasure or to unlock uh, alternate uh, paths to new levels. So you probably noticed that really weird, uh, creepy skeleton head door there. Uh, I always thought it was unusually dark, I guess, for the Mario series. It's sort of creepy, I don't know. Uh, I'm, I guess I'm, I'm trying to kill this guy, but it's going so slow in the water. I don't really know how fire is working underwater, uh, but we do need the dragon helmet so that we can uh, use that block to get this key. And this is how we have to unlock all of these doors. And this one's weird, because you got to get right in the middle here. Nice. Usually I have a much harder time doing that. Uh, but all of these doors will have secret treasure. And if I just attack it and grab it... And we have collected our first piece of treasure. And now Wario's gonna put it in his little display case there. Nice. One down, 14 to go. So, uh, you can beat this game just like any other sort of standard platformer. You know, make it to the end of every level, beat all the bosses, yada yada, final boss at the end, yeah. Uh, but as I mentioned previously in the last episode, uh, to get the best ending, you have to collect every piece of treasure. Uh, you have to find all of the hidden exits and explore all the hidden levels. Uh, and you also have to have... Uh, what is it? 99,999 coins at the end of the game to get the perfect ending. Uh, and that is what I'm going for in this Let's Play. So even if you, uh, you know, because you can replay levels as many times as you want. You can, you know, keep going back and just collecting coins. If you don't collect all the treasure, but you still manage to get 9,999 coins at the end of the game, you still don't get the perfect ending. You'll get, like, the really good ending... Uh, but you won't get the perfect ending. So, so you do have to do everything. And I almost died right there. Actually, I think I would just fall into the... I think it's safe to go down there. But I'm not going to risk it. I already died uh, last time in my very first episode, which is embarrassing. And so this area has also changed. So this level actually has uh, a piece of treasure... And it has a hidden exit, which now that the water's high enough, we can get up here, which we could not before. And just like usual, we pay our 10 coins and complete the level. And I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, gambling mini game here. And I did pretty good. As you can see, 140 coins. Not too shabby. And so now, a little alternate path's going to open up here, and we got course number, what is this, six? Yeah, course number six. And this course is really easy. And you can make a mad bank. Going to ditch that stupid dragon helmet for the bull helmet, which is what you need. So I'm going to do a ground pound here. And... All you have to do is rush the crabs really fast, and you'll get 10 coins. And this is pretty much all this level is. It's just like, it's just coin central. And when I go ahead and do the gambling game, I can like turn the, I can turn this into like friggin', I don't know, like 600 coins, which is pretty sweet. If I play my cards right. Or, you know, if luck is on my side, it's a 50-50 shot. There's no real tact involved, I guess. So this is kind of a boring level to watch. Um, oh, that was actually pretty fast. You can uh, you can hit these, uh, these little heart blocks hidden if you want to collect them. 
Not too worried about it yet. Still got seven lives. It's not bad. And let's see what I can turn these uh, 91 coins into. I only managed to double it, but, you know, double's better than half or nothing, so I'll take it. Uh, it is, uh, well, let's see. I think that's uh, everything we have to do here at Rice Beach. It's a pretty small level, so, uh, come on. I'm going to walk off screen here, and now we'll actually get back to where we, uh, if you're going to play the game linearly, where we're supposed to go. In our second world, Mount Teapot... And let's see what's waiting for us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is one of my least favorite kinds of uh, levels in platformers. I hate, I hate water levels. Like, like that last level, I mean, there's a little water, but it wasn't so bad. But this is, you spend most of your time in the water, and I, I hate that. Uh, it's worthy uh, to mention also, I guess, that uh, if, you know... 99,990 coins sounds like a lot. It is, but if you collect every piece of treasure, different pieces of treasure are worth more in the end. They get added uh, to your total at the end of the game. Uh, certain ones are harder to find, so they give you, you know, more coins for them. Uh, but I think it comes to about 90,000 if you um, if you collect every single... Ah, bitch. <laughs> if you collect every single piece, it's worth like 90,000. So really, you only have to collect 9,000-some coins. And here's the first appearance of my favorite hat, the Jet Hat, which uh, is just, it's just, it's so boss. It, it, it <laughs> It's not going to really show off too much right now because I'm underwater. Uh, it doesn't look like it's much better than the, the bull helmet, uh, but it is. Uh, I think this is just a... Oh, yeah. No. I'll hit that guy. Three lives. Awesome. Uh, so it allows you to attack underwater because you actually jet through the water. Uh, but what it's really useful for is, like, jumping over gaps and just it, really annoying parts of the game that I just don't feel like dealing with that take a lot... <laughs> take a little bit too much tact. And I think there's just a... Oh, what's up here? Yeah, there's the other door up here. And here's an example of how the uh, this hat helps you out immensely. I can just jet over here, fly through the air for a couple seconds, and just like that, I skipped almost the entire level. Uh, down below me, there's a ton of water and like a weird maze of blocks and crazy crap. You can do it if you want, uh, but seeing as how I hate water levels, I just go straight for the end. I already got 80 coins. See, here's all the other crazy crap you gotta deal with. Uh, so that just lets me jet right over that. Oh, god, I hate those freaking things. Bummer. That's alright, we'll get that hat again later. And if you do end the level with uh, small Wario, it does automatically power you up, which is pretty sweet. Okay, that time was not so good. I, uh... <laughs> Cut my winnings in half there. And as you can see, we have another weird-looking dot, which means there is an alternate exit to find in this level. And it's a really important one. Well, I guess they're all important, because you have to find all the exits anyway. But this unlocks way more than any other, uh, any other hidden exit <clears throat> or secret exit does. So I'm just going to skip all this crap. I was, um, intermittently in the last episode, I was talking a little bit about the history of this game, how uh, Wario first appeared in Super Mario Land 2 for the Game Boy, but he was a villain, and then they decided, hey, let's make an actual, and there's my favorite hat, uh, you know, let's make an actual game where Wario's the, sort of the hero, if anything, is an anti-hero, I guess, uh, and I think, uh, you can go either way here, it's not like it's a big life-changing event, because there's these blocks right here in the middle that you can just bust through. Other side just has uh, the checkpoint on it. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I remember the basics of what I was talking about, where, you know, Wario was the, the villain to beat in uh, Super Mario Land 2, 
Uh, but sort of, you know, I did my own little, like, research on Wario's history and stuff. Because I, I, I love Wario. I, he's, I like him so much better than Mario. He's, he's just, he's, he's just a badass. Um, I, uh, I, I found this weird picture from the Super Mario, uh, cartoon show that people have suggested that it's a prototype for Wario. I mean, kind of looks like him, I guess. Uh, the colors are inverted, but he's a fat guy with a mustache and the same colors, just, just backwards. Uh, but I don't know. It's kind of a flimsy one. There's, there's another, uh, sort of, uh, I'm going to ditch that because I do not want to lose my uh, jet hat for this level. Uh, there's other, like, uh, I don't know if we kind of call them rumors. Uh, that there's a, a character uh, in the game, uh, Wrecking Crew, which came out on the NES. Uh, and there's uh, a foreman. His name's Spike. Throw up a little picture of him. He, uh, he's also sort of cited as, like, a sort of original prototype for Wario. Again, he kind of looks like him, but... Again, these weren't really developed characters. They didn't, you know, interact in any really meaningful way, so... I mean, maybe they sort of lifted the idea. You know, they like the color combination or something, but... But, uh, yeah, this is where it really started for Wario. You know, the, all the stuff that you know him for, being so greedy, and... Of course, the garlic and everything. So here, I'll bust through that, is where we find our secret exit. It's pretty easy to tell. They give you the arrow. And the way I like to do it is if you just walk over here and let this guy throw his knife, it sticks to the wall, and then you can just jump up here. You can also use, uh, using the jet hat, if you don't have the jet hat, uh, you can jump from the highest platform, the one where uh, that guy was standing, and just ram into the wall and you'll ricochet and bounce up and you'll hit the exit. More coins. Almost at a thousand. So with that secret exit, we don't just unlock a secret level. We unlock a whole frickin' secret zone. Uh, Sherbert, is it Sherbert Island or Sherbert Land? Sherbert Land. Uh, but I'm gonna save this for later. I'm, I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I wanna kinda kind of finish up what we've started here or at least get close so I'm going to go ahead and I have to replay this level you didn't really miss much I'm just going to cut that out uh, we were already at the exit earlier where that arrow was I mean it's just a few screens a few steps to the right of that so I guess if you're using this as a walkthrough uh, you should be able to figure it out I don't know and if not, just trust me that you didn't miss out on anything. I did score a few extra coins, I guess, because I replayed the level, but I just sort of rushed through it. And, uh, so, and I, I was, uh, I was thinking how, uh, you know, there was the crossover from, uh, Super Mario Land 2. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. <sighs> Made me lose my favorite hat! Oh, I got stupid nothing hat. Or hard hat, I guess. Because Wario doesn't usually wear that hat, right? It's, he's wearing, like, a safari cap. He usually wears, like, a softer hat like Mario. Uh, is there a power-up in here? No, it's just a heart. Stupid heart. Uh. So, uh, I, uh, let's see. I'm trying to find some power-ups. Come on, I want that jet pack. Damn it. This is a pretty linear level anyway. I just like to have that, like that hat. Anyway, like I was saying, so, uh, there we go. So the, um, in the plot of Super Mario Land 2, uh, what happens, if you haven't played it, it's a great game in its own right. I don't need that checkpoint room. Um, is that this, uh, Wario character comes in and while... Super Mario, while well, Mario was away in, uh, what the hell's the name of it? Saurus Land or something like that? Wherever he is, uh, <laughs> whatever land he's saving in Super Mario Land 1, uh, Wario has taken over Mario's castle, and when he comes back from that adventure, uh, 
Mario has to collect the six golden coins to unlock the gate so he can get into his castle, beat Wario, and reclaim his castle. Now, in this game that we're playing right now, Super Mario Land 3, uh, it's sort of weird that, you know, they call it Super Mario Land 3, even though Mario's not in it. Um, I mean, there's a connection to be made, for sure. Um, but, um, oh yeah. And if you think that block up there is weird, it's, it's weird for a reason. Because we got a key! And if we go ahead and bust the block, and then press up, right where it was, and we'll hit that guy and get some mad coins. And I gotta drop this. Bust through the blocks, pick up the key, and you can guess what's on the other side. More treasure. And it looks like it's a liar. Or a harp. No, it's a liar. It's too small. I don't know what that first thing is, by the way. It's like a chalice but it's like a horn chalice I don't know so I guess the uh, the idea that sort of connects Super Mario Land 2 to Super Mario Land 3 Wario Land is that Wario is pissed that he lost uh, the castle to Mario so the point of this game is that Wario wants to have like a fancy castle of his own so uh, he's on a mission to collect as many coins as he can in hopes that uh, he can buy himself a new house. Look at that shit. 620 coins. Now, the only crappy part about that is that you can't, like, skip through this totaling of the coins, so you just gotta sit here and wait. Yeah. Anybody know any good jokes? Smoke if you got them. All right. Traveling to the top of the mountain. And as you can see, we're uh, in a little pool up here. I thought there was a lot more water in this level. Oh, you... How do you... How do you hurt me when you yourself are dead? I... Whatever. Stupid game. All right, well... I guess if you give me the, the jet cap right away, it's all right. Uh, come on. All right. So there's nothing really new here. Just avoiding the little uh, horsey guys. That's the Pokemon I couldn't think of earlier. Looks like a horsey. And because we got the jet cap, we can carefully navigate. Ah, not carefully enough. This is, uh, holding on to this jet cap is not going well for me. Such is my difficult relationship with the jet cap. I think there's one in here. Let's see. Yeah. I'll bide my time. Just jet over all this stuff, because you can only get in there if you're small Wario. It's not really worth getting hurt just to, uh, just to get a few coins. And I'm gonna avoid the, uh, the dragon cap. Although I think I need to lose my jet cap, but I'm gonna do it on my own terms. I'm gonna deliberately ditch it. But before I do that, I'm gonna jet across this gap here and collect as many coins as I can, but I'm not going to risk falling into a pit. And we don't need to use the checkpoint. But as you can see here, we got some blocks which can be broken through, but only if I have the uh, bull cap on, so I'll, I'll take it. And just let them fall through. There's some hidden blocks in here, I think. Yep. And this episode's running pretty long. I'm probably gonna have to just finish this level and uh, call it a day. 
think I could have just jumped off the side and been fine, but... With how this level's been going, I'm not gonna risk it. Yeah, nothing over there. 20 minutes, this is pushing it. So let's collect all these coins. And I'm not gonna worry about these, uh... These, uh... These big blocks, I guess. I don't even think I can... Well, no, I don't have the jetpack, so I can't uh, even break them if I wanted to. There's nothing in them, just a... Aw, oh, crap. Uh, yeah, just a few coins in there. Not worth the effort. And I think the end is just up ahead here. Let's not take any chances with these guys, because they've been giving me a lot of trouble. I forget that they have to be facing away from you, not just resting in the middle. Jump on the thwomp's head. And no problem. Oh! You gotta be careful, though, because if you walk into it, you could fall right into that, uh... Right into that pit. So, we'll do one more, uh... Gambling minigame here. And I did manage to double my... Coin count, so... What are we at? Not quite... Well, 1642. Alright, so, yep, I'm going to call it an episode here. So, as always, thanks for watching, and when we come back next time, we'll take on the rest of Mount Teapot, and after that, maybe we'll check out Sherbert Land. Haven't really decided yet, but whatever we do, uh, I hope you'll join me. So, see you next time. Bye.